mistreated. Welcome back, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Today we're going to have a look at, by popular demand, by a single popular demand, thank you sir, mistreated by Deep Purple. This is how I play it. There may be bits that are different to the original. Uh, I incorporate some bits of live as well and um, dare I say a couple of bits of me too, but I'll play it quite straight and we can go through uh, the chords. What I will say straight away, there's, there's two things I want to tell you straight away is the uh, registrations here. So we're in, might just take your life mode, I don't know if you can see that down there. Let's have a look on the old thing above you, if you can look. 88888, eight, 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 eight. then we go to 521 naught, and that's going to give us this kind of uh, kind of faded away kind of a um, lot of bass, and uh, the treble fades off at the end. We're in F sharp, lovely key. Uh, second thing to tell you is the groove of this. Listen to Glenn Hughes. Do, 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 ba, do, do, do. But that's the that's the shuffle, that's the groove in there, and you need to get that kind of incorporate that into your playing, or or at least into the way you're thinking as you're playing, and I think that will help with some of the some of the timings. Shall we crack on? Yeah, let's crack on. It's early after all. So the guitar opens it with da 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 da, um, and it, the band come in with this E uh, D flat. That's all you got there. Or is it uh... I'm inverting it, of course, you know. There you go. And then you're in. Okay, you're in. So you're in on F sharp minor. Uh, it's John Lord, so he plays things uh, economically. So the main riff is uh, A F sharp, E F sharp. You can hear that, can't you? A, B, A F sharp, E F sharp, A F sharp. So what's the most economical way to play that? Probably to go in that position there. C sharp, F sharp, A. That's the F sharp. Sounds like the right voicing, doesn't it? And the difference between A and, uh, if, and there is just to, I don't know if you see that, just to drop that F sharp to an E. And that's that. You hear that? And then very easy to go to the uh, E major with the B on the bottom. Is there? Okay, so uh, left hand down here on the slightly quieter registration. See, I've got something like six four six there. I tend not to have it too heavy because I've got a bass player. We've had that conversation before. I play the and that's good because sometimes I forget where I am with my fingers there because <clears throat> those inversions and this uh, centers it for me so I know that it's either yeah but we've done that so it goes A sharp Did you get that? Is that okay? And that's basically the verse. lead into the was it a bridge I mean it's only a quick one isn't it there's an A and a B I've been miss I 
let's just go through that then. So you've got the verse, and then you've got the smallest bridge in the world, which is an A to B minor. And then you've got, I've been mistreated, I've been F sharp, D to F sharp. <laughs> Little skip through to an A from uh, A flat. Since my baby left me, I've been losing my. So it's F sharp, A flat A. E major. And we're gonna go into that mind. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's go through that bit. The bass is going up, the uh, organ is going down in inversions. I often play the bass line with the bass player, but an octave higher than the bass player. So it's hard to lose my mind. So the right hand, F sharp minor, E major, D major, B minor. Left hand's going up from a sharp. F sharp, G sharp, A, B. Put them together. Now change to the advertised plan. We're going to do a C sharp major. And then we're going to drop just the C-sharp note down to a B. For that bit, and then we're back into a bin. Okay, so what have we got? Well, we've got um, an intro, we've got a verse, we've got the smallest bridge in the world, and then we've got a, a chorus sort of tail bit. What are we missing? Well, there's a solo, uh, and the solo is ad lib. Uh, I imagine John Lord played it that way once. Listen to Glenn Hughes for the, the groove. <laughs> Obviously that's not the part, but can you hear the groove? And then so that, that grooves in your head. And if you just lock into that, and if your bass player's got it, lock into that, you're gonna be absolutely fine. You play with a like, if you know what I mean. The guitar goes on and on for ages until um, it comes into that F sharp D break that we did before. However, this time it's slightly different. It goes F sharp minor, B minor, F sharp minor, D. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> F-sharp, down, down, da, 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 B, down, 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 F-sharp, down, da, 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 D, 
and then back into that uh, C-sharp major with the dropped root. And then we're back into reverse. Okay, so those are all the parts. You can stick them together how you wish. Uh, there's a couple of things you, you might want to do is uh, is the flare is the flourishes there's my pedal down there instead of using my Leslie switch down here I've got a momentary you could uh, there's a bit of brightness that you can pull out do, do, do. <laughs> how the Leslie was coming on and off for a bit of dramatic stuff so there's a bit of dramatic stuff you can put the Leslie on and drop pull these two draw bars out uh, towards the end also I think as we're doing the uh <laughs> turns into ooze and then ass doesn't it <laughs> As it kicks up, depending on how much you want to kick it up, I think it kicks up. It, it's kind of double times it a little bit. Uh, you can you can give it the Leslie pedal and a bit of that, can't you? <laughs> Why not invert? See how you're going higher and higher each time. You know that next version up. Why not? And you're building that tension. You've built it in, th in a few stages. You've built it with the draw bars coming up, so it's getting brighter. The Leslie's come on, so it's getting more intense. And now you're going up the inversions of the chords whilst keeping that same bass line there and then it goes higher and higher and higher and higher that can bring you right to the end which is losing my mind nice and easy okay a little bit bitty there but i think if i give you all the parts and that you can see them okay we might be on to a winner what do you think Thank you very much for that. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you found that useful. Any questions about how I play it, please give me a shout. You know where it is. The liking and the subscribing makes a big difference to me and my channel. It gives me a connection to you, and I know that I need to keep going. It's the thing that gets me up and makes me do it. There's the comments that I get every, every day and every week and the likes and subscribes. So more of that, please. That's your bit. My bit is to carry on and keep doing this. If you liked it, let me know. If you haven't liked it, let me know. Is there anything you want to do or you want me to do, then let me know. Have a lovely day. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.